Welcome to Reddit. Please take a couple of seconds to subscribe to the channel for daily Reddit goodness. Subscribe bless. Shout out to my latest subscribers. Don't forget to leave your stories in the comments section below to be pinned to the top of each video. People of Reddit. What is one fact you know that will make other people respond with and why the duck do you know that? Flatworms are dual gendered and mate by fencing with their member. The winner is the one that penetrates the other's skin first. Some species have two member. Sometimes, you need two swords to win at playing swords. Two swords can shank two people at once. Can shank one person twice. Not the game of swords we were thinking of, except it's a common misconception and not a fact. Wrong thread bud. Reddit comments have been glitchy for the past couple of days. They get put as replies under random comments sometimes. He's got your there. If you're trying to destroy a body, a strong base will be much more successful than a strong acid. Acids are difficult to legally acquire due to them being ingredients in explosives. Caustic soda is much more useful and accessible, as it's an ingredient in soaps. When it's done you'll have a liquid that you can then place in barrels and bury somewhere. Even the bones will be broken down to an extremely brittle calcium deposit, which you can easily crush and filter off. You can then dispose of the liquid as you wish. It makes great fertilizer. Alternatively, use pigs. They eat anything and will leave no traces. And once again, is great fertilizer. Edit. Christ. What a way to reach 100k karma. You outdone my comment. Welcome to ranked play. Didn't realize these comments had skill based matchmaking. After Alois Alzheimer gave the first ever speech describing the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease, no one in the audience asked him any questions or made any follow up comments. Because they were all much more excited to hear the next guy on the list give a speech about compulsive masturbation. Who knew that masturbation could make you forget all about Alzheimer's? Oh I don't need masturbation to forget. Siblings, or parents and children, that were separated from one another at birth or a very young age are often extremely sexually attracted to one another if they meet later in life. The phenomenon is called genetic attraction. Didn't think it was weird to know this until I shared with my boyfriend and he was totally weirded out. Thanks, SVU. Well. Star Wars original trilogy makes sense now, and back to the future. They only kiss to make Han jealous. Maybe Leia did but Luke was all in on that one. He was crushing hard from the moment he saw R2's message. To be fair there's not much out there in the sand dunes to rub out too. I read an article that was a confessional in a nudie mag when I was a teen. Basically, guy falls for older woman and they start dating and having sex. Extremely frequently. They'd be boinking in their day offs for the entire day and would have sleep sex. They talked about their history and guy was given for adoption and woman was a teen mom who had to give up her kid. They took a DNA test but never revealed the results. Got married and had kids. Guy then confessed that the results showed they were mother and son but they opted to hide the fact and resume their relationship. She was 14 years older than him and their kids had no anomalies whatsoever. Their son's name wasn't Logan Paul by chance. Couldn't be. They said no anomalies. Only about 1.4% of the uranium in the atom bomb dropped in Hiroshima actually fissioned. Meaning that bomb was only about 2% as strong as it could have been. Was all of it supposed to fission or is it just the nature of the way it's made that only a small part will actually fission? It is next to completely impossible to get all the material to fission as when the fission first starts the resulting explosion scatters the nuclear material in all directions. It's just the nature of the design. The uranium blasted itself apart before much of it could fission. Just as they predicted. The Hiroshima bomb design was never tested before use because it was so simple they were extremely confident it would work. They did small scale tests by assembling a critical mass of uranium and very quickly disassembling it. A human head is still alive for about 10 seconds after decapitation. They did an experiment with French criminal who was guillotined in 1905. The report from it is pretty freaky. Here, then is what I was able to note immediately after the decapitation. The eyelids and lips of the guillotined man worked in irregularly rhythmic contractions for about 5 or 6 seconds. 
This phenomenon has been remarked by all those finding themselves in the same conditions as myself for observing what happens after the severing of the neck. I waited for several seconds. The spasmodic movement ceased. It was then that I called in a strong, sharp voice. Languil I saw the eyelid slowly lift up, without any spasmodic contractions. I insist advisedly on this peculiarity, but with an even movement. Quite distinct and normal, such as happens in everyday life, with people awakened or torn from their thoughts. Next Languil's eyes very definitely fixed themselves on mine and the pupils focused themselves. I was not, then, dealing with the sort of vague dull look without any expression. That can be observed any day in dying people to whom one speaks. I was dealing with undeniably living eyes which were looking at me. After several seconds, the eyelids closed again. It was at that point that I called out again and, once more, without any spasm, slowly, the eyelids lifted and undeniably living eyes fixed themselves on mine with perhaps even more penetration than the first time. Then there was a further closing of the eyelids, but now less complete. I attempted the effect of a third call. There was no further movement, and the eyes took on the glazed look which they have in the dead. Australian box jellyfish have 64 anuses. Finally, enough holes. Thank you for watching. Got a similar story? Share it in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Lay Reddit for more daily Reddit goodness. Subscribe bless.